What's up, baby? Yo, and what's up, my fellow lovely Walmart bags? So yeah, as you can see on the title and thumbnail, today I will use this very lovely special grade curse in different Roblox anime games. But before we go using it, let me introduce you to something, because I was spending too much money on Sakura Stand, and now I have nothing to eat. Hey, you over there! I knew you had a problem that you wanted your own brand outfit, but making your own outfit in Roblox is too hard for you. What if I tell you that you can make your own cloth at just a few step with customers? All you have to do are log in, choose any template you want, and use your creativity to create your own outfit. Now you can sell it and becoming rich with your own cloth. So just clicking link in description and your life will be better. Just like in my other video, I have to tell you that I will give away any Game Pass you want if you are the first to find my secret code, which is hiding somewhere in this video, and comment on it with a Roblox username. And special for those who join my Discord server, because I will do a giveaway like this too. But in every week, that means if you are on my Discord server, you will have a better chance to win free Game Pass, so just join it up. All right, and let's start with the first Roblox anime game, which is Sorcerer Battleground. Because not so long ago, Mahito just got an Awakening update, and yeah, let's see how cool it is. So first off, start with M1 combo, as always. And for the first move of Mahito is Soul Tender. And second move is Soul Bend. And third move is Soul Ring. And last move before Awaken is Soul Ring. And it's Awakening time. Well, that was pretty cool, but I feel like it's still not done. Welcome to the second Roblox anime game, which is our lovely project Baki 3. And for the obtaining method of Mahito in this game, you can just go watch my old video because I don't want to waste time saying it here. And since Mahito in this game is a bit complex, I will just copy the information from Trello so you guys can easily understand it. So first the basic moves, which is Offensive Transfiguration. And on Trello it said Offensive Transfiguration has five variations. The skill can be used twice upon the first activation Transfiguration Touch and marks whoever is touched for 10 seconds, allowing for the use of Soul Multiplicity and Offensive Transfiguration on whoever is marked. Upon activating the skill a second time transfigures the target based on their health. So basically I think this move can be used two ways, which are Soul Multiplicity and this Offensive Transfiguration moves. So let's look up all of the offensive transfiguration variations first, because they will change based on enemy health. And first is when enemy has above 60% health, it will remove their limb which slows them, and removing their dashes temporarily, as well as reducing their damage by 50% when their limb is gone. And next is when enemy has 60-30% to 30 health, which going to turns them into a transfigured human, shrinks the target as well, removing 1-3 of their max dura for that life. And next is the funniest, because when enemy has 30-10% to 10 health, it will transfigures them into a furry, and any damage done to you, it will redirect back at them, and unable to heal until the transfiguration runs out. And last is below 10%, which just make enemy exploded. Now, let's go with the other move which is Soul Multiplicity. And yeah, as I said, you have to use the Offensive Transfiguration first, but you don't have to click another time. Also, for this move, you can use it two ways. One way is to just click the key again, which will make them explode. And another way is to use it when someone is nearby, which will automatically propel them together. Next move is Look Ma No Hands, which will turn you into a worm and give you speed boost. 
Next is fourth move, which is almost last now, and it is self-transfiguration, which you can use it three ways. First is just tapping the skill it will turn your arm into a club that hits the opponent towards you and bringing them closer. And second, if you hold key for a bit, your arm will turn into a blade and lunging you forward and it will make target to lose a limb. And third, which is hold longest, it will shrink you and give you speed boost. Now for the last move is self-embodiment of perfection or domain expansion of Mahito. For the ability, as it said on Trello, it said, you will grant it a massive speed buff. And at the start of the domain, a guaranteed stack of offensive transfiguration will be applied to all enemy players within the domain at the start. Within the domain, the user has infinite range with transfiguration touch, allowing them to use soul multiplicity and offensive transfiguration anywhere in the domain, as well as making the execution 15% inside the domain. Well, Project Baki 3 took me long enough to explain all the moves. Now, let's get into the worst Battleground game, but it has every ability, which of course is Sukuna Battleground. So let's go check it out. Look like you have to buy Mahito moveset for 100 Robux. Let's see if it's worth it. Askete! Um, excuse me, what's the actual f- And our last Roblox anime game is Jujutsu Shenanigans. 